Hello everyone. Um, today we will be uh, opening Legends Legacy, a commander deck from Dominaria United. So I bought this from a local toy store here in the Philippines. Um, it costs around sixty dollars here, but I got it from at a discounted price due to an online selling app sale so let's start comes with a deck box a life counter a strategy insert showing the commander we had a binder of wheels. And yes. The commander deck itself. This the foil display copy of the commander plus a collector booster sampler pack. So let's open this one first and see what we'll get. These are good cards. Hmm. So first is a Goblin Lord. Then... Hmm. Bortuk Bone Rotten. Okay. So next. We open this up. So first is the display commander. So you can see the thick card compared to the others. A lot of zombie tokens, an elephant, and ragaban. Let's see the back side of the tokens. Treasure, warrior with vigilance, goblin, knight with vigilance, and tutu griffin with flying. Okay, so let's move on to the actual deck.
Mm -hmm. So the commanders are put upside down. So first one, Tihada, Binder of Wheels. Let's see, plus two. Up to one target legendary creature gains Vigilance, Lifelink, and Indestructible until your next turn. And minus three, reveal the top four cards of your library. Put any number of legendary cards from among them into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Create a treasure token for each card put into your graveyard this way. Then the ultimate, minus 11, gain control of all non-land permanents until end of turn. Untap them. They gain haste until end of turn. Then the alternate commander, Shanid Sleeper Scourge, for to cast two for menace, legendary creature human knight. Other legendary creatures you control have menace. When you play a legendary land or cast a legendary spell, you draw a card and you lose one life. So I think I'll use this one as a commander for this deck. I think I like this one better. And moving on to the rest of the deck, I split it into two piles for easy handling. Seriam Golden Wind, legendary creature, Griffin, flying. When a Griffin you control deals combat damage to a player, create a 2 2 white Griffin token with flying. Mm -hmm. Griffin Commander. This is good, I think. Next one, Blade Wing, Deathless Tyrant. 7 drop, flying haste. 6-6. Six, six. When Bladewing Deadless Tyrant deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker for each creature card in your graveyard, create a 2-2 two, two Black Zombie Knight creature token with menis. Oh, so this is what those many zombie tokens are for. Okay. Next one. Kadrik Soul Kindler. Portokas. 4-3, the legend rule doesn't apply to tokens you control. Mm. Whenever another token legendary permanent enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay one. If you do, create a token that's a copy of it. That token gains haste. Sacrifice it at the next end step. Mm. This one is good. Gerard's Arglass Pendant. One to cast. Legendary Artifact, Flash. If a player would begin an extra turn, that player skips that turn instead. Mm. So the first ability prevents other decks from taking multiple turns, which is common <laughs> in Commander. So uh, next ability, Pay for Tap, Exile, Gerard's Arglass Pendant. Return to the battlefield, tap all artifact, creature, enchantment, and land cards in your graveyard that were put there from the battlefield this turn. Mm. So this is, the second ability is some form of protection against board wipe. That is also good. It's a good ability. I like that card. Moira Urborg Hunt. 3 to cast 3 to menace. When Moira Urborg Hunt is combat damage to a player, return to the battlefield target creature card in your graveyard that was put there from the battlefield this turn. Okay. The Peregrine Dynamo. 3 to cast 1, 5 haste. Pay 1 tap. Copy target activated or triggered ability you control from another legendary source that's not your commander. You may choose new targets for the copy. Mm -hmm. A more limited version of Rings of the Bright Heart. Okay. Verak, Warp Senjir. 3 to cast 2 to flying death touch lifelink. 
Whenever you activate an ability that isn't a mana ability, if life was paid to activate it, you may create that much life again. If you do copy that ability, you may choose new targets for the copy. Good with fetch lands, I think. So you can you can use the fetch lands as a ramp together with this card. Mm, the river cleaver. Um, I think this is the most expensive card of this deck. So, a 3 mana for a legendary equipment. Uh, equip 3. Equip creature gets plus 1 plus 1 and has trample end. When this creature does combat damage to a player or planeswalker, create that many treasure tokens. Hmm. Seems like powerful card. Primeval's Glorious Rebirth Yung Legendary Sorcery Return all Legendary Permanent Cards from your graveyard to the battlefield Okay Ursa's Ruinous Blast Legendary Sorcery Exile all Landland Permanents that aren't Legendary Adriana Captain of the Guard 5 to cast 4 for melee Mm, when this, whenever this creature attacks, it gets plus one plus one until end of turn for each opponent you have attacked this combat. Mm -hmm. Other creatures you control have melee. Oh, okay. So this provides buff to your attackers. So long as you attack, uh, the more players you attack, the bigger your creatures get. Okay. Alesha, who smiles at death. 3 to cast 3 to first strike. Whenever Alicia who smiles at death attacks, you may pay 2. If you do, return target creature card with power 2 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Tap and attacking. Mm -hmm. Anafensa, King 3 Spirit. 2, 2 mana, 2, 2. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, bolster one. Choose a creature with the least toughness among creatures you control and put a plus one plus one counter on. Okay. Ashling the Pilgrim. Toto cast. 1-1. One, one. Pay to put a plus one plus one counter on Ashling the Pilgrim. If, if this is the third time this ability has resolved this turn, remove all plus one plus one counters from Ashling the Pilgrim and it deals that much damage to each creature and each player. Mm, okay, so I think we're up to on to the rare land. Ah, okay, so it's not yet. It's mixed. Battlefield Forge. So your white red pain land. The devil. Spot removal. Bell Borka. Spectral Sergeant. Four to cast. Note the mana value of each card as it's put into exile. Neil Borka Spectral Surgeon's power is equal to the greatest mana value noted for it this turn. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. Ah, so this is a powerful card. Um, it gives you an additional card each of, on each of your turns. Black Blade Reforge. Equip creature gets plus one plus one for each land you control. Each equip legendary creature three. Equip seven. Okay. Captain Lannery Storm. Three to cast. Two to haste. Whenever Captain Lannery Storm attacks, create a treasure token. Whenever you sacrifice a treasure, Captain Lannery Storm gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. Coptofed. Soul Hoarder, 6 to 6, 6, flying. Whenever a permanent owned by another player is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you lose, you draw a card and you lose one life. Day of Destiny. Okay, an anthem for your deck. Legendary creatures you control get plus 2 plus 2. Okay, so here is the rare lands from the, for the deck. Dragon Skull Summit. Another legendary creature. Okay. Etali Primal Storm. 6 to 6, 6. Whenever Etali the Primal Storm attacks, 
exile the top card of each player's library, then you may cast any number of spells from among those cards without paying their mana cost. Okay. Back to the lands. Foreboding Ruins. Gair Reach Sanctum. So this triggers... I forgot the name. <laughs> this triggers Shanid's ability. So this is good. Heroes Podium. Each legendary creature you control gets plus one plus one for each other legendary creature you control. Then pay X tap, look at the top X cards of your library and reveal a, le a legendary creature card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. So a coat of arms, but for legendary creatures. Okay. Josu. Best Leech Knight for to cast four five keeper kicker six menace. When Josu Best Leech Knight enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, create a two two black zombie knight creature tokens with menace. So the tokens earlier are also for this. Okay, another legendary card Mikokoro Center of the Sea. Tap for one colorless and pay to tap each player draws a card. Kariseb, Skyship Raider, Toto cast 1 3, first strike menace. When Kariseb, Ship Raider attacks, create a Ragavan, a legendary 2 1 red monkey creature token. R Ragavan enters the battlefield tapped and attacking. Exile the token at end of combat. Kaya's Wrath, 4 mana sorcery, destroy all creatures, you gain life equal to the number of creatures you control that were destroyed this turn. Krenko, Teen Street Kingpin, 3 to cast, 1, 2, whenever Krenko, Teen Street Kingpin attacks, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on it, then create a number of 1, 1 red goblin creature tokens equal to Krenko's power. Mm, this is good. Mobilize district. Tap, add one colorless. Then pay for mobilize district becomes a 3-3 citizen creature with vigilance until end of turn. It's still a land. This ability costs one less to activate for each legendary creature and planeswalker you control. Mm. So this will deactivate activation cost of this to be a creature will most likely be lower most of the time because of the because the deck is heavily made out of legendary creatures okay Neheb Dreadhorde Champion 4 mana 5 4 Trample legendary creature zombie minotaur warrior whenever neheb dreadhorde champion deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker you may discard any number of cards if you do draw that many cards and add that much red mana until end of turn you don't lose mana this mana as steps and paces end okay odric lunark marshall for to cast 3 3 at the beginning of each combat Creatures you control gain first strike until end of turn if you con if a creature you control has first strike. The same is true for flying, death touch, double strike, haste, hex proof, indestructible, lifelink, menace, reach, scalp, trample, and vigilance. Mm. So I think this is the finisher. You cast mm. yes. Shiban Gorge. Another legendary land, tap for one colorless, and then pay three, tap Shivan Gorge deals one damage to each opponent. Shizo, Death Storehouse, another legendary land, tap to add one black mana, and pay one tap, target legendary creature gains fear until end of turn. Okay. Smoldering Marsh, Sword of the Chosen, Totokas. Legendary artifact. Target legendary creature gets plus two plus two until end of turn. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know before that this is a legendary permanent. So this is nice. 
Tajik, Blade of the Legion, Portokas, Tutu, Indestructible, Battalion. Whenever Tajik, Blade of the Legion attack, and at least two other creatures attack, Tajik gets plus 5, plus 5, plus 5 until end of turn. Wow. 7-7, Indestructible, or 4 mana. Temple of Malice, Temple of Silence, and Temple of Triumph. Teshar. Ancestor's Apostle. Four to cast two to flying whenever you cast a historic spell. Legendary spells counts as historic. Return target creature card with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. Draxos. Scourge of Krug. Four to cast seven seven. Trample. Draxos. Scourge of Krug enters the battlefield tap and doesn't untap during your untap step. Whenever you cast a a historic spell, untap Traxos. Tyrite Sanctum, land, add one colorless, or pay to tap target legendary creature you control becomes a land in addition to its other types. Put a plus one plus one counter on it. Pay for tap. Sacrifice Tyrite Sanctum. Put, a, put an indestructible counter on target god. Unbreakable Formation, Instant, 3 to cast. Creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn. Addendum, if you cast this spell during your main phase, put a plus one plus one counter on each of those creatures and they gain vigilance until end of turn. Setalpa, Primal Dawn, 8 mana, 4, 8, Flying, Double Strike, Vigilance, Trample, and Indestructible. Apes of Oilos, Drana Liberate, eh, Liberator of Malakir, first flying, first strike. When Drana Liberator of Malakir deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one plus one counter on each attacking creature you control. Wow, it's a huge buff. Jazal Goldmain, four to cast, four four, first strike. Pay five. Attacking creature you control gets plus x plus x until end of turn where x is the number of attacking creatures. The Circle of Loyalty. This spell costs 1 less to cast for each knight you control. Creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1. Whenever you cast a legendary spell, create a 2-2 white knight creature token with vigilance. Pay for tap. Create a 2-2 white knight creature token with vigilance. Arvad the Cursed, 5 to cast, 3-3, three, three, Death Touch, Life Link. Other legendary creatures you control get plus 2 plus 2. Bone Tooth Monument, black creatures you control cost 1 less to cast. Whenever you cast a creature spell, each opponent lose 1 life and you gain 1 life. Mm -hmm. Poros Garrison, Felwar Stone, Manark. Garna the Blood Flame. 5 to cast 3-3 three, three flash. When Garna the Blood Flame enters the battlefield, return to your hand all creature cards in your graveyard that were put there from anywhere this turn. Other creatures you control have haste. Okay. Moving on to the next pile. Generous Gift. So, white Beast Within. Hazoret's Monument. 3 to cast. Red spells you cast cost 1 less to cast. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you may discard a card if you do draw a card. Hedron Archive. Hero's Blade. Mm. Mm. Okay. So it's free to equip to a legendary creature that entered the battlefield. Okay. Hero's Downfall. Destroy target creature or planeswalker. Honor Worn Shaku. Tap down and tap legendary permanent you control. And tap Honor Worn Shaku. Okay. Mortify. Nomad Outpost. Okay. Trust Monument. 3 to cast. Legendary artifact. Whenever. White creature spells you cast cost 1 less to cast. Whenever you cast a creature spell. Create a 1-1 one, one white warrior creature token with vigilance. Okay. 
Orso Basilica, Rakdos Carnarium, Reliquary Tower, and Sol Ring. Tenza Godos Mall. Wear and Tear. Ambitions Cost. Pujuka Bug. Command Tower. Commander Sphere. Arcane Signet. Evolving Wilds. Lakeless Looting. Oh, Night's Whisper. Thrill of the Possibility. Read the Bones. Terramorphic Expanse. And then Basic Lands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 Mountains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Plains. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Swamp. That's it. Thank you.